So Kevin, uh, first of all, welcome to the Bay. Um, I suppose any new manager, when they come on board at a new club, wants to get off to a winning start as soon as possible. You've got that tonight, 3-1 win. Um, how did you feel the boys performed today? You know, it was an opportunity for me and Adam to see the lads in action. Obviously, I, I went to watch the game on Saturday. Um, we had some personnel missing the, this evening, um, but it was an opportunity for us to, to look at some things. We gave the, the boys some information before the game, which was probably quite a lot of information to take on without us having the opportunity to do a session with them and, and walk through some things. But um, look, they was receptive to the feedback and the information. So it was a good practice for us really, um, and came at a good time so we can work on a few things on Thursday and obviously going to Saturday's league game. Obviously you mentioned at uh, the end of the, um, the defeat to Horsham, the 4-1 defeat at the weekend, you went into the dressing room, you spoke to the players. And as you said, you've not had the opportunity to have a proper training session with them to get some of your ideas across. How, how receptive have they been to the way you want to approach how your team is going to play from this point going forward? Yeah, at the moment, it seems quite positive. It's, it's too early to judge, isn't it? Um, I think players need to um, work with us and see if it's for them. And obviously, vice versa, we, we'll work with them. But I said on Saturday, we'll give everybody an opportunity. It's not, they don't need to be concerned that as a new management team there's going to be wholesale changes. Um, but obviously the squad's quite light at the moment as you saw from today, so we do need to bring in some, some faces. We brought in Courtney Barrington, um, who played today and done exceptionally well. Um, but there's some legacy players who've done very well today. So if we get the opportunity to work with them, then, then it's absolutely fine. Um, it's just, it's fine margins in football, the team, the environment, the, the, the atmosphere in the changing room. Um, if, if you haven't won for some time, um, as much as winning can become a habit, losing can. Um, but they showed some good attributes today, so we look forward to working with them. Obviously you've made uh, a number of changes tonight, as well as throughout the game. Now, one of those in particular, Lucas Hanley's come on for the second 45 minutes. I suppose, as you said, it's just to get an opportunity to have a look at him and see what he can do in a, in a pr proper full-blooded game like this. Yeah, we were on numbers and there, there was a couple of the younger lads came into the squad as well. We played a few players out of position, which we needed to do because we, we've got some injuries and, and some players unavailable. Um, so yeah, we, we feel that we learned quite a lot the, this evening um, and we'll do again on Thursday and we're training on Thursday and it's our, our first session with the lads so that will be well planned and, and well delivered and then we go into Saturday's Saturday's league game um, look we've got a few home games on the spin which is important for us um, and yeah just something to look forward to and the boys just need to like we said afterwards um, the, the feedback to the lads wasn't anything technical or tactical it was just like cheer up and start enjoying yourselves fellas um, and then so and then winning will come um, so yeah lots to look forward to obviously uh, just to finish um, your first league game as, uh, as manager of Herbay Football Club on Saturday I suppose it doesn't get any bigger than a game against Brighton see both clubs struggling at the wrong end of the table um, you mentioned about trying to change that positivity in the changing room. Is that something that, from this game in particular, the goals, the performance from the players, they are going to look to carry into that game and hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, it will, it will pay off what you're saying to them and what they have to do on the pitch? Yeah, I hope so. Look, we need to carry it into Thursday's training session. We'll run through some more things. It's a learning curve for us as well, okay, as, as much as it is for the players. So we need to be aligned in terms of our understanding as quick as possible. Um, it's a new thing for me coming in, coming into a club at, at this stage, um, but look, like I said, there's a challenge there, and, and myself and Adam are fully aware of the challenge, um, and we wouldn't have accepted the role if we didn't think that that we could um, sort of make an impact, as, as I previously said. Um, and the players just need to trust with us and, and roll with it, and we'll give some good quality feedback and try and improve them as individuals, as a collective unit, because obviously, look, this, this club, 
Myself and Adam came down Sunday to have a look around at a few bits and pieces. Um, it's got so many positives and it's a club that needs to progress to, and keep its sort of status at this level and we'll work tirelessly as we are already to, to ensure that happens.